Hi friends, welcome back to channel SciTecker. In this one, I'm going to do the video rendering speed test comparison between the iQOO Neo 6 device versus iQOO Neo 7 device. And this is exact question which has been requested by so many of my subscribers asking me to make a video regarding the video rendering speed test. And iQOO Neo 6 which has got the Snapdragon 870 and iQOO Neo 7 which has got the Dimensity 8200 processor. So this will be kind of comparison regarding the both processors regarding the video rendering speed test. And this is a CanMaster video rendering application which I'm trying to use in this video. And in case if you want me to include any other particular uh, video editing application, let me know in the comments. Maybe in the next upcoming videos, I'll definitely include regarding the speed test comparison. So right now I'm trying to select the normal 1080 video and I'm trying to convert to 1080 30 FPS. So this is the basic video which I'm trying to do. So you can see the exact bitrate size and expected output. Both are having exactly same level of output. And free storage also, there's a lot of free storage is there between these both phones. And the bottom phone is the iQOO Neo 6 device and the top one is the iQOO Neo 7. So don't get confused between these both phones. And now let me to start at same time between these both phones. So one, two and three. So right now, as you can see friends, I did click at same time. So Snapdragon 870 is going pretty fast, as you can see. So some of the video editing applications, they are actually designed to optimize very good properly for the Snapdragon instead of Dimensity Process. So that's what the difference you are trying to see at this moment, comparing both phones side by side. So Dimensity 8200 is definitely lagging behind regarding the kind master window running application so next time i'll try to include the monster mode and then i'll try to see the difference so is it making any difference or not using with the monster mode i'll try to find out right now so right now the video exporting has been done completely in the icon 6 as you can see still it's taking time so i just want to stop it and uh, let's continue and now let me to close this application and let's open with the monster mode so this is a monster mode which i did enable right now and now i'm going to continue with the monster mode so the same rendering same video so let's do again so one two and three sorry i did i did not click at same time one two and uh, three so now using with the monster mode and this is a snapdragon processor and still i can see the difference the snapdragon 870 is doing pretty good so that's the reason I did try to mention to you all that let me know in the comments what other video editing applications you are using so that I can actually test in my video in my videos. So definitely again the iQOO Neo 6 is pretty fast so no need to again wait till the end. So now let's move to the 4K 30fps so 1080 to 4K 30fps. So let's find out what's happening here so 1, 2 and 3. So I did click at same time. And right now the iQOO Neo 6 device, even with the 4K video exporting as well, it was able to perform really very good. And right now I do have the 8 Gen 2 processor which is a OnePlus 11 and I'll definitely include some videos on this processor as well very soon. And now the iQOO Neo 6 is a clear winner regarding the video editing applications so maybe in case if you want to use for the video editing applications so this is something you should remember regarding buying the device so which phone you should buy so meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching and the clear winner is the icon neo 6 device regarding the overall uh, video exporting and rendering speeds until signing off thank you for watching and bye